Hello everybody, it's Matt Harris, and I am so excited to share with you something that's awesome about pearls and the pearl world, and it's happening this weekend, and that is at King Charles III's coronation. Now, many of you, well, most of you are going to be watching this after the coronation, but believe me, it's going to be just as interesting, uh, as a matter of fact, even better, because you'll be able to go back to coronation clips and see what we're talking about. So, let's jump into it. I'll start with a question. What do King Charles I, King Charles II, and King Charles III have in common? Well, you're going to guess it. It's a pearl channel. Pearls. So, how? Well, let's start with King Charles I. So, King Charles I was a son of King James I of England and Ireland, and he was also King James VI of Scotland. Well, King Charles I became king at 25 years old, and there's a portrait of him at 15 years old wearing a pearl in his left ear, a large white teardrop-shaped pearl. And they say he wore it throughout his entire life, into battle even, and yes, he wore it on his execution day when he was beheaded. Well, his son became king, so Charles II after King Charles I's execution, and King Charles II's crown was adorned with pearls. He had a coat of arms made for each of the countries that he reigned over, and on each of those coat of arms, there's lots of pearls and pearls on crowns as well. And as a matter of fact, he had something crafted for him. It's called the Sovereign's Orb. And the Sovereign's Orb is a gold orb separated into three parts, and that signified at the time what they thought were the three continents of the earth. And guess what? On this orb, there's lots of jewels, including 375 pearls. So skip ahead now to Charles III. How do we tie Charles III all into this? Let's pull it all together. At the coronation, Charles will be wearing two crowns. The second crown is called the imperial crown. And before we get to the pearls in that imperial crown, let's go back a little bit. Remember when I talked about Charles I? And Charles I was son of King James I. Now, King James I was the son of Mary, Queen of Scots. Mary, Queen of Scots, when she was married and went to France from Florence, she was given a gift by Catherine de' Medici. And Catherine de' Medici gave her a gift of pearls. And they say it was a bunch of pearls, but including seven teardrop-shaped, round, large, white pearls. And by the way, Catherine de' Medici got those from Pope Clement VII, and uh, that started all at about 1533, this hand down. Well, what happened to them? Mary, Queen of Scots, was imprisoned, and her and Queen Elizabeth were big rivals. And it's reported that Queen Elizabeth I purchased these white pearls from the collection while Mary was imprisoned. And eventually they were handed down and handed down and handed down through the ages. And guess what? The imperial crown is said to have what's called a nickname Queen Elizabeth's earrings. Now, some people say Queen Elizabeth didn't really wear a lot of earrings, so they probably weren't earrings, but they're called Queen Elizabeth's earrings. And if you look at this imperial crown, there's four pearls kind of dangling from the top, and those are what's called Queen Elizabeth's earrings. Now, while people call them all the Queen Elizabeth's pearls, two of them probably aren't from that original collection, and the Royal Collection Trust says that it appears that at least two of the pearls didn't appear into the Royal Collection until the 19th century. But there's more. Charles will also be holding, guess what, that sovereign orb that Charles II had created that has 375 pearls. So watch for this. It'll be fun. And who would have thought that pearls are one thing that ties all three kings together? Well, there's many more stories about pearls that have got a fascinating history to them, and they've influenced people in the ages. They've been important throughout the ages. Pearls have so many stories that need to be told that are rarely told. I'm here to do it, so click on subscribe and you'll see more videos as we do them. And I'd love to have you here. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the coronation. Check out the Imperial Crown and the Orb, and I'll see you next time.